Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Drayson12, on the link below. Rick's Corner, the man, the myth, the legend, now on with the show. Well, this is a treat today. Welcome to Rick's Corner. I'm shooting from my office where I, well, I do my editing. I have my guitars. I have all my pictures and uh, I have my turtles in my tank. And it's just a very peaceful atmosphere where I live. I just, uh, it's a very peaceful house. I have a lot of pain in my leg today. I have to wait for the nurses to come over. So it's very hard for me to walk around to get to my studio, which is really just around the corner of my door. It just takes a lot, so I thought I'd just do some broadcasting from here. What I wanted to talk about were behind the neck presses, because it's a, an old exercise that's been used forever. And when I first started working out, I used to use it a lot, because I thought, well, it's going to build my shoulders. And I knew some guys like Steve Marjanian down at the beach that had huge shoulders, and they would, bench, they would press uh, behind the neck 300, 315 pounds. But if you look at the, uh, the way the, the body's shaped when it presses it, you're really only using the front delt. You're not using the lateral or the uh, back delt. It's working one part of the shoulder and that's it. Plus you're putting yourself in a real bind of your joints and your rotator and you can really damage yourself. I know from doing it, if you, you don't do it correctly, uh, if you just lean back a little bit, you're gonna really yank your shoulder out. But I did them for years and everybody down at Gold's did them because they had a um, behind the neck press seat and we get spotters and we do them. Well, I got to a point where I thought, no, this isn't doing me any good. It's just hurting me all the time. So I switched over to the Arnold presses with dumbbells, which I got much better results with. And uh, it was a complete movement from front to rear, and I worked my delts the way I wanted to work them. So I eliminated the behind the neck pressing and um, just stuck with the, uh, the, the, the dumbbells, but also, when we'd sit at the lap machine and do pull downs, I'd see a lot of people pulling down behind the neck. I was guilty as well. I didn't know any better. Well, that kind of works the rear delt when you're pulling down behind the neck, because you can see it working if somebody's doing it. But the best way i found is pull it straight to the front of my chest on top. Now, I've seen people lean way back and cheat that exercise like really crazy, and that's, they're getting nothing out. They're just jerking that cable down. And so the best way to go is a little bit lighter and do it really correctly and up slow and down slow. And that'll get much better results than you've ever had in your life. There's another little tip that I like. If I'm doing dumbbell presses, for example, I like to superset with my legs on a bench, uh, my hands on the floor. I usually use about two 25 pound plates and do push ups in between, or two boxes that are a little bit higher, actually. So you would do the dumbbell presses and the push ups in between, and man, what a pump in your chest you get. These are old things that aren't really used a lot anymore, and I, I kind of bring them out of the woodwork and try them. When I was training with my son, we got the best results from that stuff. But I wanted to pass it along because I thought it was pretty good. And um, if you're having shoulder injuries, be careful because once those things start to hurt, they hurt forever. When I had my first wrestling match, I wrestled Buddy Killer Austin. He took me in an arm bar, yanked my left shoulder back. This was in 1965. And that shoulder's never been the same since. Completely pulled something in there and it was just miserable. So I like to try different things. I was in the gym today and I was doing back on the seated lap machine with the two bars that come down. I did four or five sets of those and then they have bars that go out. Never tried the bars on top. I did, don't know why, I never have, but I did today. And I went fairly light and when I would pull the bars back uh, behind me, I felt my rear delt work like mad and my traps. So the bars were up here and I could way back and I'd go in and I'd go way back. So I did four sets of those as well. Uh, 30, 40 pounds, I guess. I probably could have gone heavier, but I didn't. Yeah, I'm gonna start incorporating that in my workout because it works the rear delt and the traps and all across the shoulders. These are just little tips I wanted to pass along. I thought you might enjoy it. And broadcasting here from my office is something different for me to do and I kind of liked it. So um, those are some of my tips for the week and I hope you enjoy them. I hope you use them and get some good results. Remember, train hard, eat right, and get your rest. Thank you for watching Rick's Corner and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hope you enjoy the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code Drayson12 on the link below at oldschoollabs.com.
Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson. Personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it. And I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrayson.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it will be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.